like to ask you a little bit to tell us your first thoughts that come into your mind when somebody says Oba. Well, it's a, it's a word that means so many different things, you know, it's uh, Oh, opa, I spilled yeah. something, or opa, you know, they, they, opa, you know, and breaking something and drinking to, I, when I think of opa, I think of life, you know, some mm -hmm. kind of celebration of life. Um, yeah, but you said you've never been uh, in Greece uh, before. Never before, no. So, in order for you to take a role that has to, you know, to, for you to travel mm -hmm. so much to, to Europe and to Greece, there was something that really... You really liked well, it was about very, the movie. very exciting what, what really to me. Was it, the the really opportunity liked. to be able to go to the the place of the foundation of, of modern thinking, you know, oh, to you know. What to was the best experience there that you had? Something that you remember the most? I think you know, Patmos is a particular place. You know, it's it's an island that's so far away from everything. Um, the, I think there's only maybe two thousand permanent residents on the island. A lot of tourists come in. Yeah. Especially um, the summer. Yeah, the summer to go see the, the cave of St. John the Divine. Um, but I, I think that what was really particularly special for me in this experience was I was riding a scooter around the island and I found a road that went to no place. Mm -hmm. and, and I found a little cove where the sun was just setting there and there was a small little harbor with a small fishing boat. And inside of this valley, there was a small family farm with these very tiny Greek people that mm -hmm. and with fingers that looked like potatoes and, and, and uh, they had their donkey and the fig trees and the lemon trees and they'd just turned the soil and they were harvesting food that they had grown. And it, it, I'm, 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 I'm serious when I say it, it made me cry because, yeah. because of, I felt like I've lost that touch with the, with the earth, with yeah. the sea, with the elements, you know. And, and, and yeah, and, and it was so special for me to, to be able to touch those people, to be with those people. I ran back to the town and I bought a bag of cookies and I came back and I, I tried to speak to the woman yeah. from the house and she invited me to stay and have some dinner. If I, if I wanted to sleep in a, in a little room over there, I could, I could stay. And she was just so loving and kind. And mm -hmm. this, this was the, my favorite memory yeah. of, of Patmos. And so tell us a little bit about the movie and your role in, in the movie. Um, well. The interesting thing for this, for this, like in, if we can speak in, uh, you know, not terms of the characters, but in terms of ideas, that uh, this character that I play really represents an American of, of the, for the push of Western civilization. Mm -hmm. So you have a materialism, and if we can say that Greek is a, like a Eastern, more of an Eastern mm -hmm. country, Eastern philosophy, even though it's the West, mm -hmm. the Western civilization, but. The, this con the contrast between materialism and spirituality. That in America we say we we uh, live to work, and and in Greece and in Italy and in uh, Sp Sp Spain people work. Uh, they live. They they work to live. Yes. You know they're working because they want to go home and spend time with their family. They want to work to get food mm -hmm. so they can have a party and a celebration. That's changing though. Sometimes. You think yeah, it's unfor yeah. that would be unfortunate yeah. for for me and for everyone to to lose that special yeah. thing the, of the celebration mm -hmm. of, of. But just your character at the end, I think, becomes more sensitive. Am I wrong? I don't know. If yeah, yeah. I, th I think that the character that he meets with the character that Agnes Scott plays, Katerina, mm -hmm. who runs the taverna, she she. Is, is like like some if, if you say that I'm a seed, uh, she helps me to sprout and yeah. to uh, if like a butterfly. She yeah. she helps me to become a butterfly yeah. to crawl out of my cocoon and realize the the sensuous experience of of the air, of the sea, mm -hmm. of the smells of those islands. You know the the wild oregano and the the jasmine, the eucalyptus, the pine, all those wonderful smells that come out of the earth in in those little islands. Yeah. But and I think that also represents uh, true American, because also an American is open like you were, and at the end you become sensitive. So I think that's an important, very good trait of American yeah. people. That yeah. although some of them, as you said, maybe yeah. materialistic, you're open though to other yeah. cultures, and you're very open, and you go there and you and you try to become like the locals, mm. Mm. or you try to get good. You know, I certainly you, do. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I mean, we're taught really from. From when we're very young, very good, you know. to uh, remember to stop and smell mm -hmm. the roses, you know, yeah. and we often forget that you know to to remember to stop and smell those roses. Yeah, yeah. So country. another question that came to me about your character in the movie: you were trying to find uh, the, the cup, whole, of, Saint the John cup the of Saint John the Divine, 
and you were really, really obsessed with finding that mm. item. Yeah. Is there anything that you were always trying to find in your life, may not be a material thing, yeah. as in general, that you really wanted so much uh. and maybe you haven't found yet, or it led you to something, like the cup yeah. led you to Agni in the yeah. movie? Um, no, I think, th I think that, uh, like many people f from now until thousands of years ago, is just trying to understand this experience of life, you know, mm -hmm. that, that uh, if there's a God, what made the God, you know, yeah. and w if there's a God and he had a God, and what, what made, what, what, what is this tremendous mystery? And, and I think that, you know, there's been so much focus on what we see, you know, we, we, when we look up at the night sky, we see the stars, but we don't think about the space that separates the stars. There's much more blackness, there's much more emptiness than there is actual things. Mm -hmm. And if we look at a strand of human DNA, we look at the things that we see. We see those bars and we study those bars, but we're not thinking, considering the space between those bars. And I think that that space, that emptiness, is something that um, is very, very profound. Yeah. And I think that, that there's a great mystery of life that we can find in that, in that emptiness, that what we can call the negative space instead of yeah. the positive space. OPA today, mm -hmm. there was also something unique about the movie because it opens simultaneously in 300 theaters, am I yeah, right? Yeah. And then they're having a live um, Q&A. Well, the most complicated thing about making movies today is distribution. Yeah. You know, that it used to be, how can we get money? If you mm -hmm. and I, we want to make a movie, how do we get somebody to give us money? How do we get financing to make a film? And today, you, you know, it's quite easy to make a film. You know, with a, with a digital technology that exists, with, you know, and, and uh, you know, you have a little teeny camera that you carry yeah. around that you, yeah. could, you could make a film with this. Yeah, because what's, yeah, that's a great what's, what's still important is the story. Yeah. You know, the, how good is the story? How good are the actors that tell the story? How good are you at moving the camera? Mm -hmm. Why do you move the camera? You know, all of these things that are, that are part of the, the language of making movies, of cinema. But the thing that has become very complicated is how do, you, how do you distribute a film? How do you get people to go from their homes, away from their computers, to go to the cinema and have the experience of watching a movie? So people are experimenting with different ways. You know, we see more and more 3D movies, so you can't really have a 3D experience watching a movie at home. So by making movies three-dimensional, you can pull people yeah. into the m movies. By making big explosive movies that are like uh, video games, you know, these big action movies, you, you don't have that experience watching it at home on a yeah. small screen or even a, even a big projection screen. And you kind of want to go be with people and watch yeah. those movies. So this is what they're doing now by having people, giving people the opportunity to, to watch the film and to meet the actors through via text messaging. So all these different cinemas around the country where the movie's playing right now, simultaneously yeah, at yeah, 200, so 300 screens, that, that afterward, the people can go, oh, I, you know, I'd like to ask yeah. a question. What, yeah. was, what was Patmos like? You so know? they're going to be sending you questions? Yeah, over and you're yeah. Be and there'll be, a, there'll be a camera, and we'll speak okay. to the camera, and speak to those great. people in Oklahoma, and Nebraska, mm -hmm. and Chicago, and That's San great. Diego. <clears throat> well, if I get a chance to, to go to Greece to have, for, have a premiere of OPA, this is going to be one of the happiest days of my life. To be able to, to travel to Greece and spend time with the Greek people. And, uh, and you know, when I was making the film, I, I, I decided for one year I wasn't going to have a drink of alcohol. So oh. the whole time I was in Greece, in, in Patmos, people were drinking beautiful wine. They were, they were having ouzo. And I, oh. I had made a promise. I didn't know I was going to do the movie, but I said, I'm not going to have a drink for a year. And so that year, that I was, the, the two months that I was there, I, every, I, I wanted to try the ouzo so bad. Yeah. I, I wanted to have some of the Greek red wine yeah. and the white wine. And, and I like Greek coffee. Yeah? I do. But Greek coffee, let me tell you a secret. Don't say to the Greeks, though. It's actually Turkish. Yeah, I know. I got they, don't, they don't like it. I got spit know. on by, uh, yeah. by a <laughs> Greek <laughs> when I said it. Because I said, oh, yeah. this is, this is uh, Turkish, Turkish coffee. coffee. Yeah, and he got really mad at me. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you okay, very much. Thank you. Okay.